Imagine a tiny asteroid barely the size of a skyscraper quietly orbiting near Earth, a cosmic time capsule from the early solar system. Now, China is about to land on it, grab a piece and bring it back to Earth. This is Tianwen-2, China's first asteroid sample return mission, set to launch in 2025. But it doesn't stop there. After delivering its samples, the spacecraft will embark on another daring mission to study a mysterious main belt comet. Why does this matter? Because these celestial objects hold the secrets to our solar system's origins, and China is about to crack them open. China's Tianwen-2 mission is set to launch in the first half of 2025, marking the country's first asteroid sample return mission. This ambitious project aims to collect surface samples from 469219 Kamoalilewa, 2016-HO3, a near-Earth asteroid with a stable orbit close to Earth, before continuing its journey to study 311P-slash-Pan stars, a main belt comet. Primary Target 469219 Kamualeawala. Kamualeawala, discovered in 2016 by the Pan Stars 1 telescope in Hawaii, is a small quasi satellite of Earth, measuring between 40 to 100 meters in diameter. Unlike typical asteroids, Kamualeawala follows a unique co orbital motion with Earth, making it an excellent candidate for scientific investigation. Some theories suggest it may be a fragment of the Moon ejected by an ancient impact but this hypothesis remains unconfirmed. The Tianwen-2 spacecraft consists of two main components, an orbiter and a re-entry module. The orbiter will conduct detailed remote sensing to identify the most scientifically valuable sampling sites. Upon reaching Kamo'ala-Lewa, the spacecraft will perform a complex maneuver to approach and collect samples using a mechanical arm. Unlike previous asteroid missions that used simple contact sampling, China's dual method approach touch-and-go sampling and an anchor-and-attach system will maximize the chance of successful material collection. The goal is to retrieve at least 100 grams of regolith from the asteroid's surface. Sample return and extended mission. Once the samples are secured, the re-entry module will prepare for its return to Earth, while the orbiter will continue its mission by using Earth's gravity assist to slingshot toward its next target, 311 p slash pan stars a unique main belt comet the sample return capsule will re-enter earth's atmosphere at high speed requiring advanced heat shielding technology to ensure a safe landing secondary target 311 p slash pan stars after completing the asteroid phase the tianwen-2 spacecraft will travel deep into the asteroid belt to study 311 p a rare hybrid celestial body that exhibits characteristics of both an asteroid and a comet. Observations of its structure, dust ejections, and composition will help scientists understand how such objects evolve and interact with their environment. The Tianwen-2 mission is not just another space expedition. It represents a new frontier in asteroid research. By collecting samples from Kamoelalewa, the mission aims to answer fundamental questions about the origins of small celestial bodies, planetary formation, and the early solar system. Additionally, its extended phase will shed light on the mysterious characteristics of 311P, a comet-like object residing within the asteroid belt. Unraveling the origins of Kamoalela. One of the most intriguing aspects of Kamoalewa is its unusual orbit, which closely follows Earth's path around the Sun. Scientists believe that studying this asteroid could provide crucial insights into the dynamics of quasi-satellites and whether objects like it could be remnants of past planetary collisions. Spectroscopic analyses suggest that Kamawailoi's composition may resemble lunar material, leading to speculation that it could be a moon fragment ejected by an impact event millions of years ago. If confirmed, this would provide direct evidence of past asteroid impacts on the Moon and offer a unique comparison between naturally ejected lunar material and samples collected by Apollo missions. Beyond its possible lunar origins, Kamoawalewa is expected to contain pristine, unaltered material from the early solar system, making it a time capsule of planetary formation. Why 311P Pan Stars is important 311P is one of the most unusual objects in the solar system. A main belt comet that displays characteristics of both asteroids and comets, 
Unlike traditional comets that originate in the Kuiper Belt or Oort Cloud, 311P resides within the asteroid belt but still produces a comet-like tail. Scientists are particularly interested in how and why 311P ejects dust streams, as this behavior defies traditional definitions of what distinguishes asteroids from comets. Tianwen-2 in the Global Space Race China's asteroid mission places it alongside NASA and JAXA in the race to explore small celestial bodies. NASA's OSIRIS-REx recently returned samples from Bennu, while JAXA's Hayabusa-2 successfully retrieved material from Ryugu. However, China's dual objective mission is unique. No other space agency has attempted to both return asteroid samples and study a distant main belt comet in the same mission. The Tianwen-2 mission, while groundbreaking, presents several major technical challenges. Successfully navigating and retrieving asteroid samples, followed by an extended deep space mission, requires precise execution and innovative engineering solutions. Navigational and operational hurdles. One of the biggest difficulties is rendezvousing with Kamualulewa, which is a fast-moving small asteroid with a rapid rotation period of about 28 minutes. Unlike larger asteroids like Bennu or Ryugu, Kamuaulewa's compact size and fast spin complicate sample collection efforts. To overcome this, the spacecraft will rely on high-precision autonomous navigation systems and advanced optical tracking technology to ensure a stable approach. The sample return phase is another challenge. The re-entry capsule must survive high-speed atmospheric entry while keeping the collected materials intact. Unlike lunar samples from the Chang'o missions, asteroid samples lack any protective atmosphere and are extremely fragile, making their preservation during re-entry a complex engineering feat. Extending the mission to 311P after completing its primary mission, Tianwen-2 must perform a gravity assist maneuver around Earth to gain the velocity needed to reach 311P. The spacecraft will have to endure several additional years in deep space, operating autonomously while maintaining power, thermal stability, and communication with Earth. Once it reaches 311p, the spacecraft must adapt to an entirely different type of target, a small body actively ejecting material. This environment introduces unpredictable factors such as volatile surface activity and potential debris hazards. Studying such a dynamic object requires real-time observational adjustments, pushing the limits of current spacecraft technology. Future implications for space exploration. The success of Tianwen-2 could open the door to even more ambitious interplanetary missions. It lays the groundwork for future asteroid mining projects, planetary defense strategies, and deep space exploration beyond Mars. China's Tianwen-2 mission is a historic milestone in deep space exploration targeting 2016 HO3 for asteroid samples and later studying Comet 3131P. By retrieving material from a near-Earth object, China joins an elite group of nations unlocking the secrets of solar system formation and planetary evolution. This mission is not just about collecting space rocks, it's about understanding the building blocks of planets, the origins of water and even life itself. The technology and experience gained will propel China toward future lunar bases, Mars sample return missions, and deep space exploration. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.